Hi everyone, welcome to Geek Decoders YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to create this type of a visualization. So in this visualization, as you can see, we have last month, last week and this month, this week, all the data are in one uh, visualization. So first we have to create last month, last week, this month, this week uh, uh, measurements and then we have to add this, uh, these measurements into this visualization. When doing this tutorial we will be doing, uh, we will be uh, using calculate, year, month, today, filter and many more uh, DAX functions so you can learn that as well and also to follow this uh, the data sheet is been added to the description se section so you can download it and use it also uh, if you are visiting my channel for the first time please subscribe to my channel for more power bi videos uh, in future let's see how we can do that right so my data sheet is looks like this so we have salesperson item sales value and the sales date so this is my data sheet Right, so now it's time to add few measurements. Uh, first one I add is, uh, I say last month. So what I want is, I want to get the sales value or sales which is happened on last month. So for that I use calculate function. And here expression would be sum. Then here I use uh, sales value. Right, so I want the sum of the sales value and then I have to filter it for to take only the values of last uh, month. First I have to do uh, that, so filter, uh, table I use all command here. So as you can see it returns all the rows in the table or values in a column ignoring any filters that might have been applied. So uh, with that I can get the full table. So I use sales table here. Right, so then filter expression would be first I have to filter this uh, record from the sales date and then first I have to filter it from the years. So uh, it has to be this year first. So then I have to write uh, year. So year command uh, returns the year of a date as a four digit uh, integer. So it will uh, return as an integer. So I use uh, date as sheet sorry data as uh, sheet uh, sorry sales uh, date should be equal to should be equal to year and it should be equal to today right today means so if you use today it will return the today's value and then it will return the today's year so that means this year right and then I can uh, close this one or else I have to then I have to use uh, uh, months so here I use uh, here this one and then I have to use uh, two ends and then I have to use month month so month also return a number 1 to 12 1 is January and 12 is December, uh, December. month uh, of uh, sheet uh, sorry sales uh, date should be equals to month of today right today minus one because I want the last month right right so now the function is over so I add uh, the function now it is fine Right, so now if we go and check this value, so we I add that to a card. So here I add this, uh, the new measurement which I have created last month. So here I can get the last month's sales value. Right, so now I would like to take this month's uh, sales value. Let's see how we can do that. So when you are getting the this month's value, so no need to write the function again. So we can simply copy this right the measurement and we can create a new measurement right uh, so I add this one and I paste this one so I will let you know what are the places that we need to change so here we can say this month so here calculate sum table that would be fine and then we have to filter it 
by the year that would be fine so because this month and the last month would be the same year 2020 and when it's come to month so I use uh, month today months minus one so here I want only to remove this part to get the this month uh, month value so uh, so then I can get the sales data or the sales value for this month right so now last month uh, this month uh, measurement is been created now it's time to create the last week measurement so for that also it also same like uh, last month so I create a new measurement I say uh, last uh, week so then same as the uh, previous function use calculate function then uh, here sum uh, then I want to get the sales value right then I have to use the filter and then all uh, then I have to use uh, sales data right then I have to use the filter expression so then I have to first use uh, um, year equals uh, sales data year should be equals to uh, year so I will make it bit big and here I use alt enter to make this uh, down right here then I use uh, today function right and then uh, I need to use uh, another function that means an and then I have to use now there's a small difference here previously I took the month here I use week num function so here week num then same as we uh, previous sheet one sales date uh, should be uh, equal to should be equal to week num today so then it will take the two days week right minus one so it will take then the last week right 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 so now the last week uh, measurement also done now it's time to create the this month this week so here I just copy this and as before create a new measurement right then only a place that we need to change is here it should be this week so I remove minus one right now all the four measurements are created now we'll see how we can add it to a one visualization right so my measurements are ready now last month last week this month this week so now I will add it to a one visualization here I use a clustered uh, column chart right or else uh, you can use a clustered bar chart as well so here I use this one and then I add all the values uh, that I have created this month and all the necessary values so as you can see now all my uh, values are added to a one visualization all the measurements so then you can do certain formatting if you go to the format and then you can enable the data so then you can uh, plot area can be colored then you can color the uh, title background anything so I will do a small change to the background to see how it will affect so likewise so you can do many changes you can increase this font size etc that as we require right so so I think uh, now you've learned how to use a different DAX function and also to create this type of visualization uh, so thank you very much for watching my video and if it's helpful please subscribe to my channel thank you